Hey y'all, here I am in the heart of Deep East Texas. Check it out, it's my next video. <laughs> Last video, uh, talked a little bit about tomatoes. Uh, talk a little more about tomatoes. Uh, every year I say I'm never gonna go to tomatoes again, or I'm never gonna go to this many tomatoes again. And then the next year I say, oh, I gotta get some more tomatoes. I wanna try all different kinds of tomatoes. But, uh, you know, as you mature, you try to uh, control those tomato urges. And uh, I still have some tomato seeds that I've acquired over the years, and I'm trying to grow some of those. In the last video, you sh I showed you uh, that I planted some. And I'm gonna plant some more, but I'm gonna do something different. This is a little experiment. This is a, a little test. Now, I know there's probably some purists out there that are going, what are you doing? This is goofy. They may not grow even true, uh, but I got a little basket of cherry tomatoes from the store. And from what I can tell is there are yellow cherries and orangey yellow grape tomatoes. And then there are uh, red grape tomatoes. And then something that looks really similar to like a chocolate Cherokee uh, or a, a chocolate cherry or a purple Cherokee, the little purple one in there. Okay, maybe a little red cherry in there too. Now I can't see one, but uh, at least three, four different kinds of uh, cherry tomatoes in there. And I am going to uh, get some seeds from these, dry them up, clean them off and uh, plant them and grow them and see what happens. Now, I don't know, one or, one or more might be at F1 where uh, it won't grow true and it won't be exactly what it is, but uh, who knows, it might be fun. It's just an experiment. I'm not trying to grow these to sell or, or feed my kids with. I just, I just wanna see if I can get some neat uh, cherry tomato plants growing from a pint of cherry tomatoes that I bought at the store. Do you dig it? Can you dig it? It's called Snacking Tomatoes. They're from Village Farms, Marfa, Texas. Uh, rinse before eating was which what I will do. And uh, I'm just going to take one of these tomatoes here. I will actually semi-demonstrate, so semi-straight. Uh, here, this is one of the uh, little uh, grape tomatoes, red ones. And there's some orange ones like this, and then there's some yellow cherries, and then the chocolate cherries. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them in half, and I am going to squirt the seeds all out onto a coffee filter. But first, before I do that, I'm going to write something on the coffee filter that reminds me of the tomato. Either this, I'd probably put red or R grape, because there's a yellow grape too. So I'll put Y grape. And then uh, C cherry for chocolate cherry and Y cherry for yellow cherry. And then I'll just set them out and I'll dry them off. And uh, hopefully, I mean, I've done it before. I know it's going to work. I'm, hopefully, I'll get tomatoes that look like these, you know, when spring comes. So that's what I'm going to go do. You, do you want to see it? You can you, you imagine it. Okay, I'll show you one when I'm done. But, uh, oh, I got a cauliflower out in the backyard. Uh, let's go get that. I'm going to cook it up. I'll need this. Mm -hmm. down this way here uh, yeah there it is see that big cauliflower one I've been wanting to get this for a while oh man this thing is growing huge <laughs> alright bring this upstairs and cook it up
All right, well, I got a lot of seeds. Some of them are bound to work. Uh, I'm just gonna let them dry up. Maybe tomorrow, pick them off and uh, see if I can't grow uh, a bunch of cherry tomatoes. Well, I'll keep you informed on how it goes. So uh, keep checking back. Uh, thanks a lot for watching my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, I'll see you next time in the garden. Cherry tomatoes that I bought at the store. Do you dig it? Can you dig it?